Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at reproduction in angiosperms. We're going to firstly talk about what angiosperms are, the flowers, the parts of the flowers including the stamen and pistil, how pollination works, and the purpose of the fruit and seeds. So firstly, angiosperms is the fancy name for flowering plants. So this is any plant that has a flower. And this is what we think of as being flowers, the pretty ones, as well as some things that we don't really think of as flowers. Uh, most grasses are angiosperms and have a flower. And the title slide that I used for this uh, video is actually the flowers on some grass. Uh, they're the most common and most diverse planets all across the Earth. And generally the most pretty. Uh, there's two main parts in the flower, the flower being the reproductive organ of the plant. Uh, so we have the pistil, which is in the center, and that is the female component. And we have the stamen, which is generally around the pistil, which is the male component. Uh, so that stamen, uh, as I said, goes it's around the outside, and it consists of uh, filaments, which are like stalks, uh, and then on the end of those filaments, it is going to have the anther, and the anther is where uh, pollen grains are released from when mature. On the pistil uh, that's found in the center, we have a few different parts too. At the top of the pistil, uh, at the end, is the stigma, and then we have a more stalky bit going down called the style, which go, and there's a pollen tube within the style. And then down at the bottom, we have the ovary containing the ovules or ovum. And they are the gametes, or the female gametes, of the flower. Pollination occurs when the pollen grains go from the anther to the stigma in the center. Uh, once this happens, there are the gametes, the sex cells within those pollen grains, travel down the pollen tube of the style and meet up with the female gametes down in the ovary, forming a zygote. There's a few different ways that pollination can occur, uh, but it's generally either by the wind, so the pollen being blown from one plant to another, uh, by insects such as bees, flies, butterflies, wasps, etc., or by animals, and in this case, often it is birds. And there's two types of pollination. Cross-pollination is the best type of pollination, where we get the pollen from one plant, uh, go to the stigma of another plant. So in this case, we get uh, the genetic information from both plants uh, that go into the seed, therefore allowing for genetic diversity. If cross-pollination can't happen, self-pollination can at least still produce a seed. Uh, however, self-pollination, where the same plant is providing both the pollen and the ovum, uh, does not have the same genetic diversity. And for this reason, some plants have actually adapted particular characteristics that stop self-pollination from occurring. Uh, one of these is that having male and female flowers on different plants or having the male and female flowers in different places. So, for example, if you have the female parts of the flower at the top of the plant, uh, when the male parts of the flower release their pollen, that pollen is going to go down rather than up. So, it's more chance of pollinating another plant than doing self-pollination. Once... Uh, pollination has occurred, a zygote forms, and this forms down in that ovary, which swells up and creates what we call fruit. Uh, and as I said, angiosperms are more than just the things we think of as flowers and fruit. Uh, some of these fruits we wouldn't actually consider to be fruits, uh, as I said before, like the fruit that you find in grass. Uh, but that its job is to provide nutrients and house the seed or the zygote until it turns into a mature seed. Once that seed is mature, it can then be dispersed uh, by either the wind or animals or just dropped on the ground. And different plants have different adaptations to allow for this to happen. 
In this video, we've talked about the reproduction of angiosperms being flowering plants, the flowers being the sexual organs of the angiosperms, having the male stamen uh, with pollen grains in the anther, and the female pistil with the ovum found in the ovary, pollination occurring when the pollen travels to the stigma, travels down the pollen tube to the ovum, and you can either have cross-pollination from one plant to another or self-pollination within the one plant, which isn't as good because it decreases genetic diversity. Once pollination occurs, the ovary swells to form fruit uh, that provide nutrients for that seed to mature, and once that seed is mature, is released from the plant and dispersed by either the wind or animals. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.